So I've got my blue lab coat and my blue science goggles. You like my hair? Does it look all mad scientist-y? Okay. I thought that in honor of us all going back to school and starting to use our brains again, do you like my little brain? Isn't it cute? In honor of us being back at school, I thought we'd have some fun with some science this week. Hello guys, before we get started on all of our super fun science experiments that I have planned for us, I want to talk about Romans, specifically Romans 8, because it has so much good stuff to say. It talks about how if God is for us, then who can stand against us? Because our God is so powerful, he is on our side, he is fighting our battles, so please, Nothing stands in our way. If God is for us and God wants it, then it shall be. Am I right? Can I get an amen? Anyways, it also talks about further down that nothing can separate us. Nothing, absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of Christ Jesus. God's everlasting love. It is just in all encompassing, it covers us and it is just incredible. And the fact that nothing, it says right here, for I am sure that neither death nor life, not even death separates us from the love of Christ Jesus. Neither death nor life, nor angels, nor ru rulers, no things, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. How amazing is that? Did you guys get that? Nothing can separate us from Christ Jesus' love. Not life, not death, nor evil spirits, nothing. Not our troubles, not our sin, not the way we act. Absolutely nothing can separate us from Christ's love. How amazing is that? So, for our first experiment, it says here that if I poke some pencils through this bag of water, it will not leak. And I better be dang sure of that because I'm gonna do it over my bed. And if that water does leak, I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight. It's gonna be soaking wet. So I better be sure that this is gonna work. Say hi to my wonderful lab assistant, Ed. Let's do this thing. Would you look at that? It's not leaking! Those are some bold statements from the writer of Romans. The writer of Romans' name was Paul, and Paul had to be absolutely sure of Christ, and he had to be sure of who Christ is and what Christ stands for, because he was saying that no one can defeat us if God is on our side, that is a bold statement to say, but he is sure of Christ. Paul also says in Philippians that all I want is to know Christ and to experience the power of his resurrection, to share in his sufferings and become like him in his death. That's Philippians 3.10. That is another bold statement. Paul is saying that he wants to suffer just like Christ did because he is sure of Christ and who he is. And so he's okay with suffering here on earth if that means he is going to be on Christ's side and he's going to be in heaven, in paradise forever with Christ. So Paul was very sure of Christ and all that Christ said that he was. He was sure of Christ, just like I had to be sure of that experiment because if that bag popped 
I would have nowhere to sleep at night except a cold, wet bed, and that would be so sad. So that brings us to our first point. He is sure of Christ. For our second experiment, we are going to play with our secret hidden messages. So I've got this piece of paper for you. I dripped a little water on it, but that's okay. But look, it's blank. You can see both sides, right? Well, think again with my lovely assistant, Ed. My lovely lab assistant. Oh, goggles on. We are going to make my secret message appear. P.S. Don't try this at home without your parents. Beautiful! Do you see that? Can you all see what that says? It says Jesus loves you. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Thank you, Ed. Round of applause. Round of applause. So, just like Paul was sure of Christ, Paul was also sure of Christ's love. He was going on and on about how nothing can separate us from Christ's love. There was the whole long list of everything that cannot separate us from Christ's love. He was sure of Christ's love because even though you can't always see it, you can always feel it and you always know that it's there. Just like experiment number two, where we didn't see it, we just saw a blank piece of white paper, am I right? But what was there really? There really was Jesus loves you because sometimes we can't see it. All the, Well, yeah, we can't see it ever, but it's always there. And that's why point number two is he is sure of Christ's love. In our next experiment, God is going to be this pepper. And sometimes we think that God's love is everywhere like this. Do you see all the pepper everywhere in this bowl? And that's how it is. That's how God's love is. But sometimes we think that when we mess up, so this is us, this little Q-tip is us, and this is us messing up. So sometimes we think when we mess up, oh, well, that was a lot of soap, that that separates us from God's love. And this happens. We think when we mess up, do you see that? We think that we go in and God's love just runs everywhere else except near us. Do you see how when I put the Q-tip in, the pepper just separated? That is not what happens. Everyone do a big X and say not what happens. A better picture of God's love is this one. So do you see, I've got the two bowls here. So there's a gap. There's definitely a gap there. Do you see that? But that is not going to stop this red water from getting into this, even though it is separated into this bowl, even though the bowls are separated by a gap. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place this into an empty, uh, this paper towel and into the Red Bull and then the water will go from this Red Bull to this empty bowl. You can see that it is sort of starting to happen. You can see that there is a little bit of red right there. We will check back in tomorrow because this experiment takes some time. Point number three is that he is sure that nothing can separate us from God's love. Not a gap like that. Not a gap from here to heaven, even though heaven is here on earth with us. Not a gap in time, not a gap in by sin, not a gap in our troubles, not a gap in our feelings, absolutely nothing can separate us from the love of God. How awesome!
I love to hear that. So that is our point number three. To wrap it up, I just want to remind you that going forward and going into this week, I want you guys to be sure of three things. I want you guys to be sure of Christ, be sure of Christ's love, and be sure that nothing can separate us from Christ's love. That's all. Thanks, guys.